tell me about how you became interested in consciousness and spirituality and was it psychedelics okay. was it questioning yourself and yeah um so I've, there's some things that through my experience i know and some that i'm still trying to figure out yeah so for example um my family that i was born in in india this came to me later so it comes from a lineage of priests not my dad and mum but so the whole family comes from there so there must be something to do with that and um, they all always been around mantras and stuff like that but never really taken anything to know never seriously and then uh, i moved to new zealand and i've always wanted to try and figure out the universe mm that's uh <laughs> pretty basic mate yeah i've <laughs> always <to> had <laughs> i've always had this desire like i want to i used to call it i want to crack the universe right but only in terms of like quantum physics and i was inquisitive but ne- nothing hit the spot and then obviously my first psychedelic experience when at a side trance party and um i took a tab of acid and holy shit like yeah. the party is about to finish and it's like 6 a.m. and i actually missed the cricket match tendulkar was playing south africa that day in the world cup i was like i'm not going to come to this party i made sure like, you have to come we're going to get wasted it's going to be the best shit ever come here <laughs> and um it's going to change your life i'm like dude the party is not going to change my life trust me tendulkar is going to change my life yes exactly <laughs> yeah. my number player in new zealand was tendulkar yeah. cricket the religion tendulkar is god that's yes. what it says so i was like <laughs> massive fan True. these guys forced me to come to this party and uh, we took a couple it didn't work nothing happened i'm like if this is tripping this is shit yeah 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 <laughs> in the morning now who's my best friend i'm looking at him i'm like dude like what are you on he's like give me that he's like okay here's a blue one ha oh, 6 o'clock the trees like talking to me and the mountains are breathing this is in new zealand so yeah. the nature is pristine yes right and there's a sound system called the opus so the opus is playing my whole life revolves around the opus now right. all i want to do is play my music on the opus sound system yeah i'm listening to this sound and i'm like what is this yeah and i look at these guys the first thought is like did you guys always know this reality existed they're like what do you mean i'm like since when do you know this reality exists mm. and they're like oh like i don't know what you're saying but i was obviously buzzing out at that point so my approach was like how come i didn't know that you could do this with your mind yeah. or how come my senses are so enhanced how come i can feel everything and um yeah it's been what 9 years now and i'm still chasing psytrance yeah <laughs> and um, so yeah so consciousness started for me like that then i started really looking into it 